All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Somebody recently asked me if I still use Shizandra, and absolutely I still do. I think it's one of the greatest herbs that we can be using for our health, especially health relating to the liver. A lot of people think that milk thistle is the greatest thing since sliced, be sliced bread for the liver. A lot of people think that turmeric and these other herbs are great for the liver. And although they do, in my opinion, have their uses, I do not think they're anywhere near as effective, as powerful, and as healthy as Shizandra. So before we continue, I just want to say that yes, I still use Shizandra. It's one of my top five herbs. Um, and if you're interested in getting good quality Shizandra, I would recommend going over to Dragon Herbs, their website, and buying the six ounce, six ounce bags for $10. I think that's a steal. I, I wouldn't suggest buying Shizandra in capsules. It just doesn't work very well when you grind it and it sits for long periods, it loses its effectiveness. I'm not saying that you can't derive benefit from it because I, I have myself and I've seen others derive benefit from it, but it's nowhere near as effective as if you, as if, it's nowhere near, I can't speak today, excuse me. It's nowhere near as effective as if you were to buy your own berries, grind it, put it into capsules, or particularly, or ideally, make your own tea out of it. So the greatest way to make Shizandra, you guys, at least the tea, is to grind it with a coffee grinder prior to brewing it in boiling water. Um, a lot of people are just throwing the berries into the water and making it that way, and although that will at least give you some nourishment from the Shizandra, you wanna break it apart. You wanna break open the berry, ladies and gentlemen. You wanna increase the surface area. You're gonna pull out more oils and all the beneficial constituents if you do this. So always grind your Shizandra prior to brewing. I wouldn't grind the whole bag of the berries, just do it as you need them. Otherwise, like I said earlier, when you grind stuff and it sits for prolonged periods, it's gonna go bad quicker because there's more surface area. So you'll be, you'd be amazed at how much more effective Shizandra berries are if you grind them. The color of the tea that you make is also going to, instead of being kind of like an off red that's clear, the tea, if you grind the berries, is gonna turn into like a grapefruit pink and it is so much stronger if you make it this way. It's a night and day difference. So, yes, I still use Shizandra. I use it regularly. Uh, it's great for people who are looking for more energy and mental clarity, for people who are looking to regenerate their liver. It stimulates stage one and stage two liver detox. It is one of the only herbs that we know of, at least in the traditional Chinese medicine system, that brings balance back to and nourishes and stabilizes the three treasures of Chinese healing, which are the Jing, the Shen, and the Qi. It stimulates the 12 main meridian channels, and it also slips into the extraordinary channels and helps bring uh, balance back to the Dantian points. So not only does it work on your physical body, it works on your emotional body, your spiritual body, it works on every part of your being. It is one of the quickest ways, other than chaga and a few others, to get your jing levels up. And jing, ladies and gentlemen, is directly related to your kidneys. It's associated with your lifespan. This is the one thing you want to work on getting up rapidly if you're interested in getting healthy, is to restore your jing levels because a loss in jing levels is why you're sick more often than not. A loss of the energy in these three treasures. This is why you run down, sick, you name it. So bringing back balance to the three treasures of Chinese healing, the Jing, the Shen, and the Qi, is key in my opinion. I've been preaching this for years, and you can start doing so simply by taking Shizandra. It is highly stimulating. It is a great mental invigorator. It is great for the mental, the mental body. It would be something, in my opinion, that would probably be great for people who are past 30 or 40, the elderly, I'm, I'm not, I've never heard of, uh, I'm not sure how well it would, work, it would work on elderly people because I've never known anyone that was older who took Shizandra, but I would imagine it would be incredibly beneficial. Um, it has all of these beneficial compounds in it and these oils and these different nutrients that really help tonify the mind and, you, and the mental bodies, you name it. So. Shizandra I like so much because it works on more than the physical body. It also works on the mind. It works on the memory. And Sung Jing Park, if I'm pronouncing his name properly, who I believe taught Ron Teagarden, who now owns Dragon Herbs, I believe it was Sung Jing Park who said that Shizandra is the quintessence of, um, of Chinese medicine, of healing. So it contains all five flavors, sweet, sour, salty, pungent, and uh, what's the other one? Sweet, sour, salty, pungent, and bitter. 
And because of that, it actually tonifies and works on the, fa the five main organ systems of traditional Chinese medicine. So anyways, you guys, it's a great all around tonic. I still recommend it. Get it from Dragon Herbs if you're, in a, if you're going to use it and ideally make it as a tea. It seems to work the best when you make it as a tea. And it seems to work better as a tea than if you were to put it in capsules. And I believe that's because you get more surface area and more surface area, ladies and gentlemen, from having like eight ounces of fluid instead of just a little capsule, it's gonna saturate into your system more and really work you a lot better than just capsules. Peace be with you.